and this is Tasting Oklahoma. I am in the beautiful Bosch Benchmark Kitchen inside Metro Appliances and more with a great studio audience, a fantastic guest chef. This evening we are welcoming Chef JV, the subculture chef. Welcome. Thanks for having me. How are you guys doing tonight? Awesome. Awesome. Right on. Um, Welcome we, back. Well, thanks. You are one of our kind of favorite guests and you've been on, I would say, You've been in the kitchen with me about as many times as anyone. Uh, I, it's the fourth legit time. Fourth like, legit, legit time. time. There's been a few different times we've done some other. When he cooking. pops in and. Well, you know, I do pop in a lot. <laughs> uh, but it's fun. Uh, it's been uh, the fourth show, and I, every time I come in, I always try to think of something really different. But then I, we have you guys have so many great chefs that come in, and they do so many complicated awesome things and you go up and down and it's for me I, I I'm, I'm a fan you know I see a lot of people in here that are actually kind of fans too but uh, I wanted to try something a little bit uh, that I used to do for my uh, clients uh, backstage uh, at concerts well so talk to us a little bit talk to us about what subculture and Parif development group are and how all of this fits into chefy life true um, I do a lot of different work. Uh, I'm sponsored by Parif Development, uh, which is a uh, development company that builds casinos, schools, uh, gosh, doctor's offices, pretty uh, anything that's got a hospitality uh, area in it. I kind of work with the architect and make sure that they don't have to do a second build out on it. But uh, he's really followed and uh, kind of really helped me out the last couple of years and the stuff that I've really wanted to do as far as food and uh, it's it's nice having a sponsor <laughs> it's really nice having a sponsor uh, but with subculture uh, we put on the large uh, concerts or small concerts at Canes or uh, at BOK or anything that has to do with artists and I handle the writers and uh, per diems that they will have and some of them are crazy some of them are not so bad but uh, it's a it's a good thing. It's uh, in the private life and, and also out in, uh, in in commercial area. It's it's good stuff. It always sounds entertaining, and you've always got some really fun <laughs> stories to tell. And you've got a new project coming up that you're working on. I do. I'm you know I do a, s a series of pop up dinners. Uh, work with. Uh, different chefs and different people who are in town. I, I'd like to promote a lot of guys. Uh, so we're going to be doing two pop-up dinners a month and holding, having two different classes. Uh, and it's all going to be located on Cherry Street, uh, right around, uh, I guess, uh, Lewis uh, and 15th. Um, but finally having an actual little studio to work out of. Uh, we'll have some uh, chef uh, equipment and some uh, restaurant supply things. Um, and there will be a little food club where you can actually find out when our I guess they're secret dinners. Events. Yeah. Underground supper club. They are. But I, I, I wouldn't say it's it, like fight club or anything, but I would just say that you can't talk about the supper club. So it's not so bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, fantastic. We've got three great courses for us tonight. We've got a salad that's going to go in a mason jar. Yes. We've got a soup. Uh, we've got a pretty hearty soup. Uh, we have a layered salad. Uh, with the salad, I've been trying to take cues from uh, Johnny. He's uh, had a lot of uh, one of your sponsors here. And uh, he stays really healthy. And the guy just you know, I didn't want to bring anything oozing with pork. And usually I usually do something pretty something, either really chocolatey or really porky. But I said, you know, I'm going to come out with a, a salad that's got a lot of depth to it, some crunch, acidity. Um, and then we've got soup, and then we've and got then dessert. We've got a gelato, and uh, it's a trifle, which is a, uh, a uh, I guess you would say a pecan uh, liquor soaked uh, brown butter cookie. And we're going to layer it with a, uh, a crema uh, gelato and with a little bit of caramel and some whipped cream. Yum. So. Okay, I'm excited. I'm ready to get into all this. What about you, audience? Yeah. Yes. Learn how to make our salad. All right, so we're going to take a quick break. Come back, dive into our first course with Chef JV. So stick around for more Tasting Oklahoma.